Hey guys, another right dev here. Welcome back to another video. As you can see, today I'm here with my group holder alt account, and that is because we added badge gloves. So if my alt account were to equip the green glove, and we walk into the portal here, if I were to hit my main account with the green glove, you can see that right here it says badge awarded. It says slap battles tutorial badge. So if I were to reset my character now that I got the badge for being hit by the green glove, I can now equip this yellow glove, which gives me speed whenever I hold it. And if I were to unequip it, you can see I go normal speed again. Now as you can see, my alt account is not able to equip the glove because he does not have the badge. Congratulations to Prog C, the programmer, for winning today's daily giveaway. I hope you enjoy your 15 Robux. Anyway, back to the video. Okay guys, so I am in our Snap Battles game, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to need to create the yellow glove itself, and we'll get to scripting it later. So we can open up server storage, and then we can open up our hands folder. And we can just go ahead and get any one of our gloves and duplicate it. All right, so now we have two red gloves. We can go ahead and rename one of them to yellow glove, all right, and then we can go ahead and rename the value inside of it to be 4 instead of 3 or whatever uh, number is next because every glove has a different number. And also on the yellow glove mesh part, we can change the color of it to yellow instead of really red. Alright, and inside of the handle, we're going to script more of this later, but first we're going to change the cooldowns. So on line 21. Instead of being wait 2.3 seconds, we can just go ahead and do like 2 seconds and on line uh, 60 as well. Instead of 2.3 seconds, we're just going to do 2 seconds. Also on line 44, where you change the uh, force, instead of being 35 power, we can make it 42 power or whatever you want the power to be. I'll make it 40 actually. So now that we have our glove done, before we move on, we're going to create the badge that we're going to earn. So you're going to go to the Roblox website on your browser. And from there, you can click on the create tab. And on my creations or group creations, if it's in the group, uh, you're going to find your experience. So for me, it is Slap Battles tutorial. So we're going to click on these little gears here, this little gear. And we're going to click on create badge. All right, so now we're going to create our badge so we can choose an image. I'm just going to grab this trophy PNG that I use for my infinite obby simulator game that I'm working on. So once you find your image, you're going to go ahead and rename your badge. I'm just going to rename my badge to slap battles tutor tutorial badge, just like that. Then you can go ahead and rename it to whatever you want. And of course, you can add a, uh, a description. So I'm going to write a badge for my tutorial. All right. So when you're done, you can click preview. And you can click purchase. So once you have your badge here, you're going to go ahead and click on it. And what you're going to do is on the link here, you're going to see this random batch of numbers called the asset ID. You're gonna go ahead and right click and you can copy it since we're gonna need that for later. So now we can go ahead and minimize out of this tab. So now we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so we get the badge whenever a player hits us with the green glove. So what we're gonna do is the way I want my badge to be achieved is if a player with a slowness glove were to slap me, it's gonna give us the yellow glove, uh, which is a speed glove. So in the green glove, in the hands folder in server storage, or whatever glove your slowness ability is in, you can go ahead and open up the handle, and uh, hit handler, and you're going to move all the way down to line 61, past player.leerStats that slap stuff value, is equal to player.leerStats that slap stuff value, plus one. You're going to go down, you're going to go to the sign and go two lines down, right? Because we are going to give the player that we just hit and gave slowness to the badge so they can get the yellow glove. So we can create a variable for the enemy player. So we can do local e player. It's going to be equal to game 
dot players colon get player from character and we're going to get each are all right so we're getting each are the enemy character we're getting their player all right and we can create a variable for badge service so local bs for badge service it's going to be equal to game colon get service we're going to get badge service and then we're going to create a variable for the badge id so we can do local id it's going to be equal to and then we're going to paste in the numbers from the asset id that we got earlier so we're going to get the numbers that are right here and paste it right here and then we're going to award the badge so bs colon award badge and we're going to do e player dot user id comma id so what these lines are doing is first of all we're getting the player the enemy's uh, player and then we're creating a variable for badge service and the id which is the number the asset id and then we're getting a badge service we're awarding a badge to the enemy player and we're, and we're getting the, we're giving them the badge that is this badge right here so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a stand for the yellow glove so that way we can equip the yellow glove and this is going to be a bit different because instead of checking how many slaps you have it is going to check um if you have the badge so you can duplicate this red um stand here and move it over here we can go ahead and open it up and we can make the mesh part inside the hand the color yellow to match our yellow glove okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to customize the stand so if we open up this mesh part here we're going to change the surface ui text label all right and instead of being a slap that's needed we can go ahead and do get get badge one all right so in order to get this um glove we need to get badge one and actually uh it needs to be on the other side all right i don't know why i put it on this side it's okay let's move it over here all right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize the and uh, the gui as well so if we open up the mesh part if we open up the hand and we open up that mesh part open up the holder and the details all that we can go ahead and edit everything here so you can change the name of it to yellow glove right we can set the power to 40. We can make the cooldown um, to 2 seconds. And we can change the ability. So our yellow glove is going to be a speed ability. So ability um, to speed. Okay, so now that we have our stand customized, we need to edit the script. So if we go ahead and open up the hitbox, the stand hitbox, the click detector and the script we are going to make a few changes so first of all we can set the glove value to yellow glove instead of red glove on line six and we can also create a few more variables so we're going to do local bs for badge service is going to be equal to game colon get service we're going to get badge service and we're going to get the id again so local id is going to be equal to the numbers that we copied earlier if you don't have the numbers copied anymore you can just go ahead and open up your badge page again and you can just copy the, the numbers up here again so now what we're going to do is instead of checking if we have enough slaps we're going to check um to make sure that we have the badge so if bs colon user has badge all right, and in parentheses, you can do player dot user ID, comma ID. Then, so it's checking if we have the badge. All right, so it's checking if the player, whoever clicked on it, um, has the badge, which is this one right here. Then it is going to let us equip the glove. Also, guys, in the yellow glove script, um, instead of being equipped at value equals three. We're gonna do equip dot value equals four. All right. All right. So now that we have our equipping system and our badge, what we're going to need to do is actually script the ability that gives the player who is welding it speed. 
So if you open up the yellow glove tool in server storage, you can go ahead and open up the handle, hit handle there again. And all the way at the end of the script, you can go ahead and go down two lines. So we're gonna create a few, we're gonna create two variables here. We're gonna create a variable for the speed that the player gets when they hold the glove and the player's normal speed. So local speed is going to be equal to 36, all right? So this is the speed I want the player to go when they hold the glove because the normal speed is 16. And so we can do local norm speed, which is just the speed that your players start with. So if your players start at a high speed, they can do like 20 or something. Uh, whatever your normal speed is, but the normal games have a normal speed of 16. Actually, I just realized that uh, twice as much as 16 is 32, not 36, okay? Alright, so now we're going to create a function for when the tool is equipped. So we're going to do tool.equipped colon connect function, and we're not going to give it any parameters. We're going to create a variable for the humanoid. So local humanoid is going to be equal to tool dot parent colon find first child and we're going to get humanoid. So I'm going to check if the humanoid exists just to prevent error. So if humanoid then we can do humanoid dot walk speed is going to be equal to speed. All right. So then all the way at the end of this function. We can go down two more lines and we're going to create another function for when the tool is unequipped so tool dot dot unequipped colon connect function and again we're not going to set parameters you can do local humanoid it's going to be equal to tool dot parent dot parent dot character colon find first child humanoid so if humanoid then humanoid dot walk speed is going to be equal to normal speed so what these lines are doing here is we're saying the speed you want our players to go when they equip the glove and then we're saying that normal speed that they normally go and when the tools equip we're saying the humanoid um to the tool parent and we're checking if humanoid exists. If so, we're saying the walk speed to the speed value we set here. Now we're checking if it's unequipped. We're getting the humanoid again. Checking if it exists. And we're saying new walk speed to the normal speed. Now that that's all done, we can go ahead and publish our game. And we need two players to do this. So I'm going to click publish to Roblox. And I'm going to go ahead and get my sister to help me out. All right, so I'm in our game here with my sister. So if I try to go ahead and equip our badge glove without the badge, you can see that it shows the yellow flame or the light yellow flame, which means that you can't equip it. All right. Okay, so now if she equipped this glove right here. Okay, so if my sister were to hit me, you can hit me now. You can see that I got the badge awarded and the bottom of the screen okay so now that I have the badge um, if I were to go ahead and click on the yellow glove you can see that it lets me equip it and it appears as yellow glove if I go through the portal I have the yellow glove and if I hold it I become faster all right and I can go ahead and smack her but if I were to unequip it you can see that I go normal speed again I equip it fast unequip I'm slow Whee! Oh. Anyways, guys, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and that this helped you out. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. That notification bell so you never miss an upload. Bye!